so it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I've changed my plants out on this corner of the veranda and removed the hummingbird feeders because it was not squirrels, but raccoons that were emptying my bird feeder. And not a bird bird feeder, a hummingbird feeder. So, we have, I mean, one of the bird feeders here, a little bit closer. And one all at the end. Close to that plant and close to that. So let's see, I think a couple, three years ago, I moved the bird feeder, hummingbird feeder away from here because I thought the squirrels were getting up and emptying it. So it's about two and a half, three feet from the top of this. And oh my God, it's empty. And oh, far sticky. So something has swung the bird feeder back and forth until it was totally empty. Now I suppose it could be a bear because we did have we did have a juvenile black bear down on the um, first. Uh, for that God. see nothing gets enough sun and patients do it usually very well partial sun look at my hibiscus is wilty and I put a gallon of water on it just Day before yesterday. Okay. We'll move this feeder away. We'll put it on the balcony. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it could be the bear, but. I was away for four or five days, and when I came back, the things on my table, this pumpkin pitcher had been tipped over with this vine in it. So they're investigating. Oh, you see, I took down the grow lights. I've given up on that. I think that the lamps are not the bulbs aren't strong enough to reach more than about 18, 24 inches, if I understood correctly. And I need something that puts out more, a more powerful grow light. We'll see how these do. Supposedly they're, see how puny these blossoms are? They were three to four times that size when I bought this begonia. And it must be a kind that needs more full sun. You see the ones up there? Some of those plants I've kept for four years. And those dragon begonias do great in that part sun place. You see the cannas up there? They finally got a little size on them. Oh, the hibiscus are blooming up in the no-no garden. 
tons of those buds and blossoms growing. We'll look at those another day.